Hello. Ouch. <clears throat> well, what's up, guys? Today's video is going to be an origami tutorial video. Today, we're going to make an origami crane. <clears throat> so, here are the things that you'll need. You, well, only the thing that you'll need. You'll need a piece of origami paper. But then, but then again, if you don't have an or, if you don't have origami paper, you could just cut a piece of ordinary paper so that its perimeter is 60 centimeters. For, for those of you who don't know what perimeter is, it's the area, it's how, it's the, to, it's the total amount of, of how big the, the outside space is. Um, and just to make it easy and quick for you, uh, one side of the square will be 15 cm. Ugh. Ugh, I'm sorry. It's bad. The video's good. Okay, but then, so once you've finished your, once you've finished your, uh, getting your paper, <clears throat> you will now need to, ch you will, um, if you're using a, if you're using, you, um, you can color one side of the paper to, to your desired, to the color that you want your crane to be. Okay. When you're done, flip the, flip the colored side so you can't see it anymore. Okay. Now the first step is cre to crease in half along the diagonals and the sides, which is basically fold in half, which is basically fold in half like this, and like eh, like this, and fold in half like this and fold in half like this and fold in half like this. But then you have to unfold that. Like, let's fold it like this. Now unfold, then see this line? I'm gonna fold along that line. And now we're going to fold like you have this like this. You see like this. Yeah. I suppose let me adjust my camera a little bit. Like this. You have a square and you fold it half in half like this. You know you're folding it the right way if you see this the colored side. Now let's fold it like uh, put my finger in the Form half like this. Okay, now after you do your last fold, unfold it. Let me make it. Yeah. yeah. But now the second step is bring the three corners to meet the bottom corner. Like this. So you can do this 
by seeing this, you um fold like this, like this, and like this to make small square. Okay. <clears throat> Pull the corner up. Which, uh. Allow it. So, like, pull the corner up, which allows the sides to meet at the center. Uh. Like, you open it up and then kind of do it like. Ugh. This is terrible. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, hopefully looking more, like more or less like a better version hopefully way better version than this like this actually you know what for the first few folds I think you actually should have had the colored side up, but I guess it doesn't really matter now. Because <laughs> we're, we're already on step six. Which is now easy. Turn over. Now step seven is creep the top section. Like this. Hopefully, yours looks like this now. Now, step eight is pull the corner up as, as like we did in step four. Uh, this is always a very complicated step. Uh, opening. But for those of you who have done origami for a really long time, this might be very, very easy. And even for those who are good at origami, they might have a challenge if they haven't done it in quite a while. Which kind of makes them. Now, it should look like this. And it should have a gap, even without cutting, so you can move these bottom things. Ugh. Ugh. Let me just fix this. On the same, do it on the other side also. Mm. Uh, done. Uh, I suppose you could also use a ruler to make the creases better. 
and stick longer than mine. Well, stick longer than those. Using a ruler really helps if your origami is really thick, but you still want to make really thin. Okay, now more or less it should look like... Uh, This -ish. without the without the white or whatever color the the uncolored side of your paper is without this kind. Okay, now step the next step is the inside re reverse for um the, <clears throat> the inside reverse fold the flap upwards. Not downwards, because of course, you can't point it down. But that depends on how you look at it. Mm -hmm. For those of you who, who don't know, inside reverse folding is basically like, like doing this. And then folding the stuff around. But it, usually it's easier it's with easier projects, of course. do the same thing with the other side. Inside reverse fold uh, the, the tip that you want the head to be down. In my case, I want this part to be the head. So we're going to we're going to inside reverse this as well. Now, pull these parts, which are going to be the wings, up, be the wings apart. Now, hmm, this is the completed crane. But since, like mine, there's there's not a lot of thing volume in here. So, you, so at at this at the very bottom over here, there's a hole that you can blow into. Okay, so here's the completed crane. It looked better than it seems like in when while you're folding it. So thanks, thanks for watching this video, guys, and other people. And thank, oh, thanks for watching this video, everyone. Mm, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.